I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From Indie100.com, Alien Corpses Unveiled in Mexico Linked to Five-Year-Old Hoax by Harriet Brewis Christmas has come early for UFO watchers with the alleged corpses of real-life aliens displayed for the world to see. The startling revelation came during a Congress hearing in Mexico City on Tuesday titled The Public Assembly for the Regulation of Unidentified Anomalous Aerial Phenomena UAP. During the session, which was streamed online, Mexican ufologist Jamie Masson presented what he claimed were two perfectly preserved non-human entities. He announced that the bodies were more than a thousand years old and were discovered buried between the Peruvian cities of Palpa and Nazca in 2017. Masson stressed that the pair had been studied in great depth by both investigative journalists and scientists with research at the National Autonomous University of Mexico UNAM, using carbon dating to draw DNA evidence from these skeletal specimens. They reportedly found that more than 30% of the extracted DNA was unknown and said both bodies contained implants made of extremely rare metals. X-rays of the bodies were also shown at the hearing, with one said by experts to contain eggs. The UNAM team also determined, through carbon-14 analysis, that the beings were buried for a millennium inside diatoms, a type of algae that doesn't allow the growth of bacteria or fungi, which is how they remained so well-preserved. Masson insisted that the supposed extraterrestrials were not mummies, but whole, complete bodies that have not been manipulated inside and that have a series of elements that make them truly extraordinary. He claimed that these findings, along with explosive testimony provided by the likes of David Grush and Ryan Graves, served as sufficient evidence to prove the existence of alien life. He then stated that if we have the courage to accept that we are being visited by non-human intelligent beings that come to Earth from the depths of the universe, we could even travel to other universes. He added that authorities and the public would need to accept this in order to ensure the safety of Mexican airspace, increase research on the subject, and increase transparency on such matters. However, whilst hordes of UFO fanatics rejoiced in the quote-unquote proof of alien existence, others were more skeptical about the origins of the two corpses. They argue that they are just two of six fossilized specimens that were found inside a mine near UNESCO's Nazca Line Heritage Site back in 2017. Images of one of the mummified bodies, which went viral around the world, showed a humanoid figure with an elongated skull and three fingers on each hand and foot. Masson swiftly became involved in the investigation surrounding the discovery, insisting that researchers had uncovered irrefutable proof that these creatures were not from this Earth. However, DNA samples taken from both the hand and brain tissue from one of the specimens were found to be 100% human, according to a report from the Paleo DNA Laboratory at Lakehead University, Canada. Furthermore, the mummy's bizarre appearance led some experts to believe that the remains could have been tampered with to make them look more alien. The Peruvian World Congress on Mummy Studies released a statement condemning the bodies as a hoax made from human remains and demanded an official inquiry into whether archaeological crimes had been committed. The author of the statement reportedly dismissed the claims made by Masson and his cohort at the time, saying, "...those involved in scientifically examining the mummies seem to believe they are ancient aliens, but they are suffering from the wish to believe." All we can say is, the truth is out there, somewhere. Find the link to the original story and photos in the show notes, and find more strange or disturbing news in the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com.